in this week's uh, section of Ask the Experts. That's us. Glasses. We need glasses. There's the glasses. I think when we do this section, we should have glasses. We on. should. We, we should throw them on. Let's throw them on. Now we're experts. Okay, so the first set is, um, I guess we can break down our lasers by basically three sections, right? So the first section is our hobby lasers. Now this is our Muse hobby laser system, the hobby series, our fifth gen, fourth gen, all before. Hobby lasers have a very specific use um, and a great application kind who's of across it, the board. typically for? Hobbyist, uh, I think it kind of says it in the name there. It's uh, mm -hmm. typically for a hobbyist, typically for someone who's getting the laser cutter to use it as a hobby or some, something to do in their spare time, or someone who's bridging a hobby to maybe start to make some money or add an offering. That's why the hobby laser is such a good mix. If it's something where you're going to be doing light production, uh, doing light engravings, doing things on the side, using it for your business is perfect. It's also a great starter laser if you're going to start a business. I think it's great to think of it as like a hobby that pays for itself. It's a great way to think about it. Like riding motorcycles, that's just money down the drain. Yeah, or having a boat. That's yeah. just a hobby that costs money to have a hobby. Or yeah. bet on another thousand. <laughs> yeah, that's, bo that's a great, yeah, I love that one. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Um, yeah, that, one, that joke will buy, get a beer bit bought for you at a harbor yeah. once. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, man. Come here, I'll buy you a beer. Never yeah, heard so that one. Never <laughs> heard that one, me, matey, yeah. So um, with the laser, though, the great thing about having a hobby like that is not, not only can you do like certain projects or certain uh, products that you can offer, but so many times somebody has a problem and your laser can be the solution to their problem. So whether they need something made, something marked, something personalized, the laser can very much be uh, used for that. Now, the hobby user... Excuse me, the hobby uh, laser is uh, best used for people who are doing smaller projects and things that don't require a large amount of z-axis area, meaning your object's height is very small. But luckily, the hobby lasers also have a removable floor, which is patented here uh, at Full Spectrum Laser. So even if you wanted to take that hobby laser and set it on top of larger items, the hobby laser, even though it's an entry-level item, really can bridge to big and, uh, I don't say, kind of badass projects, right? Like yeah. really, really cool things. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you make a lot of really cool gifts with your yeah, Oh, absolutely. A Muse plus, you know, a few hundred bucks from, uh, you know, uh, oh, Hobby Lobby. You have supplies and you have thousands of dollars in Christmas gifts. I mean, just anything. You can engrave somebody's name and, or like, you know, mom's antique shop. Just absolutely. Go crazy. Yep. Okay, so the next ones we want to talk about is the professional uh, grade lasers. Now, our Pro Series lasers have a few advantages to them. Um, they also run RE3 software, which is a huge advantage. They also have LCD touchscreens on them. Another huge advantage, but the really big difference is the size. You can go much bigger, much more powerful. They can cut thicker material. You can uh, engrave and cut things that have a larger Z height to them. Uh, a lot of advantages. You love your probe machine, don't you? I have no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. Um, kind of the old tank there in the end, the garage. The thing just runs forever, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a dinosaur and it just sits there and goes and goes and goes. Goes and goes. The uh, 90 watt tube's nice. Yeah, and really having the 90 watt tube, not in, some people might say, oh, well, I don't need to do that much. So I don't really need a 90 watt tube. You do. Um, I don't mean to say it like that, but that's the best thing about the Pro 24 is it's the smallest laser system you get a 90 watt tube in. And that 90 watt tube allows you to cut through um, up to a half inch material with ease. Um, all your quarter inch and three millimeter material you're gonna cut through like butter, like there's really gonna be no second passes. Um, you can even do delicate things. I actually just, what is it, 120 watt in the Pro out? Yeah, yeah, 120 watt. At 120 watt, I was just cutting cardstock and paper. So mm -hmm. it will do everything from half inch thick material all the way down to delicate stuff like that. Uh, Pro Series machines, though, are really de uh, designed for people who are going to do mass production of things. So think people are going to do a lot of things over and over again, highly repeatable, high volume of things. The Pro Series machines are designed to take a lot of usage, a lot of hours. Really, the, the break point between the hours of usage um, people consider is if you use, use your laser any more than 20 hours a week, you're definitely above hobby la level use. A uh, hobbyist uses their laser usually 20 hours a week or less. Anything over that would be considered pro use, really. Um, so if you're using your laser more than 20 hours a week or plan to, pro series probably best for you. If you're gonna do tumblers, pro series probably best for you. If you're gonna do uh, large uh, batches of things, like many of one item, pro series probably best for you. Uh, you like the knife bed, right? That's one of your favorite things about it. I love the knife bed. I love just the size in general. Most of the time, I can't find something that I can't do on my laser. Right. It's not like I'm driving a car into it and then, but if I wanted to, I could do a hood of a car. Absolutely, without a problem. It's crazy. Very, very cool. So the next thing we have, um, and I guess the first thing we should say is like for CO2 lasers, which we just discussed, like with the Hobby and Pro, 
you're doing organic materials. You're not marking metal or at least uh, non-treated metal, uh, but you're doing mostly woods, acrylics, plastics, leathers, things like that. Now, as we move on to this third type of laser in our master series collection, or sorry, our uh, master collection of uh, lasers, uh, we should deal with mostly metal cutting and metal marking. So those lasers that you'd use to mark metals and cut metals are what we're going to talk about next. And really those lasers are so specific for the application you're using that it really is a case by case basis. Um, it's metal though, right? Absolutely. But if, you, if what you're trying to do is mark or cut metal, you really want to look at the MC series of lasers. Um, the fiber marking lasers, the FD and FC systems, the open and closed fiber marking lasers, super fast, super clean, uh, really accurate as far as doing engravings. Marking metals with them uh, are incredible. Um, you, you love marking. Yeah, the mark, I love engraving. I love doing the markings, with, especially with the metals on the uh, fiber. I haven't been able to use it uh, a lot lately uh, with other things going on, but uh, it is a great, great machine. I love that thing. Yeah, you, yeah. you love just engraving in general. Engraving, I think uh, I've... What's the You're the raster master. The raster master. Yeah, so <laughs> if anyone else out there thinks that they are the raster He's master, been I've been knighted, sorry, by the mighty walker. Um, anyway, so fiber lasers, yeah, for engraving and cutting, marking, and manipulating metal, that's the type of laser that you're uh, going to want to go for. You just really always want to get the right laser for the right application. Um, price point is always something you want to consider, but really you want, you want the right laser for the right job. Uh, there's no reason to get a hobby series laser when you know you're going to be doing production level things. Uh, there's really no reason to get a uh, hot or pro series laser if you know you're going to be doing mostly metal marking uh, oh, yeah. with it. Yeah, I, I would say you can mark metal with hey, the pros absolutely, with yeah. your mark, but that is such a pain. Yeah, that's kind of what we're saying. If like yeah. your main application is just marking metal, there's really no reason to, to just put in all the extra work of having to do the pre post work of, of marking with a surmark when really you yeah. can just throw it in the fiber and get it done faster and 10 times more accurate. And I think if your time is worth anything, absolutely, then uh, it's worth it to get that, you know, just that little bit more money and it's going to pay off in time and money. That was refreshing. Wow. If you want some more refreshing TV shows on YouTube, you can subscribe to us right here, or you can watch more of those shows right here. Someone have a towel?